Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Unreal. We just made it through the Harobed Village and we are approaching what looks like a ship that landed on top of a mountain. There it is again, yeah, it's up there. And it was previously referred to by the Nali as the chariot that fell from the stars. Welcome to the Terran Nuix. That's probably not how you say it, but I don't care. I've always called it that. It might be Tyrannix or Tyrannio or something Louisianian. I don't know. So, I love this music too. Upbeat. First upbeat techno track of the, of the series of the game. So, first thing you gotta do is you gotta press that button here. And we're not actually in the ship yet. We're in like this base they built underneath it. And basically, your reaction is supposed to be, you don't know who this thing is. When you first see it, but it's a different enemy and it starts attacking you, so you basically have to kill it. And for some reason, that's not that's not an elite version, but it's for some reason ridiculously tougher than all the other versions of it you encounter. It's called a mercenary. And once you kill it, life force door on that, it comes into here. Don't worry about passing through those, you have to pass through them. So then an alert goes off. And then these are a lot easier to take care of. See, he went down in two hits. Basically, this is the this is their ship, and they're just called mercenaries. They don't have a species name or anything. Um, but they have this ship called the Ter Terranuix, and it's got all this bio waste in it. Now, there's some connection between that bio waste and Teridium. I think bio waste is like nuclear fallout of processing Teridium. So that's kind of what they're doing with their ship here. They've kind of made it a, a Teridium processing plant, is my interpretation of it. And the processing is causing all this uh, waste in the ship, which is what that green stuff is. So we had to go into that secured room with the lasers to activate the elevator to come up here. So now we're actually on board the Terranuids. I could probably be using my weapon switch tactic here. It doesn't hurt you. For some reason I thought it did, but that's not so later in the game. And this guy's stronger than your average mercenary. Damn, okay. Let's get a toxin suit here. Um, it's not really needed because that doesn't hurt you. Damn. So they're talking about intruder antagonists. So they know I'm here, obviously. And their language is different than the Scar, too. But there's a... Uh, there's Slith on here. And the thing is, the, the stuff that the Slith shoot at you is... My theory is it's actually supposed to be a different substance altogether. It's not supposed to represent this green stuff. But, um, it is the exactly the same thing as that, as that stuff. It's the same thing. So, it's almost like the, uh, the Scar have been around, um, uh, teridium so much that the waste product is actually appearing in its genetic structure. So, that's actually my theory as to where the slith come from. Like, the, the, the real terminology is that the, the slith come from, um, they're just a cousin of the scar, like, genetically. But I think that slith are literally mutated scar from being exposed to teridium for long periods of time. So I can let you interpret that as, as you see fit, but that's my theory. One other theory I had is that they're female Scar, but that didn't seem as creative. I think it's more creative to say that they're Scar that have been mutated by the uh, Teridium Waste. So once you've killed all the mercenaries in that area, that door opens. You come in here, and I'm actually going to continue in the next video and try to get the entire uh, Terranuix on one video. And you press this button here and you enter the actual level Terranuix instead of just the underground. So that button processes the bio waste that was previously in this area. So now this area is all drained. It's the same area, so now it's empty. So now, you can 
get through here that wasn't open before, I think. It was this door here that you couldn't get into. So now this door opens. Oh, and when you have a toxin suit, that stuff doesn't hurt you anymore. That stuff they shoot at you. But you always you have to have the toxin suit equipped. I think I mentioned way back in the Vortex Rikers when you pick up the... Um, I might have not mentioned it. When you pick up the... Uh, Kevlar suit. Those suits, you can only have one suit at a time. You can have the suit with the armor and the shield belt, but you can only have one suit. So the toxin shoot suit overrides the, the Kevlar suit. And there's the Kevlar suit. So I'm not going to pick that up yet. Let's see if I can get a hit on these guys. Maybe not. Um, that's the special ability of the mercenary. Uh, I picked up the Kevlar suit. Crap. The special ability of the mercenary is to... Um, Put up an invulnerable shield. See, he has it up right now. You gotta get a, you gotta get the drop on these guys because they are pretty dangerous. And there's actually, as I mentioned before, there's two types of mercenaries. There's normal mercenaries, and there's elite mercenaries. And the elite mercenaries kind of have a bluish hue to them, but. Um, the main difference is that when they have their shields up, they can actually fire their weapon at you while the other merc normal mercenaries cannot. This is the damage amplifier. I was waiting to get that thing before I fought the Titan. And I actually did a little research and found out that in later versions of Unreal, they actually fixed what could almost be described as a bug, which um, made the Titans really easy to defeat. I'm going to try to do it anyway when I encounter the next Titan, but basically when you combine the um, powered-up dispersion pistol with um, the damage amplifier, it makes Titans go down in like two hits. And I tried it in a different file I was playing on this version of Unreal, and it didn't work. I was even trying to do combo ASMD attacks on it, and... It took a lot of damage, and it was starting to flinch after I used it like three times on him, but I ended up wasting my entire damage amplifier on um, one single Titan, which was stupid because, well, comparably to what I'm used to, I'm able to get through the whole game on one damage amplifier by just attacking Titans with one or two shots and killing them. Now, I only had the Dispersion Pistol powered up two levels when I did that, so it might still be in this version, but I, I looked something up and someone said that it, it was taken out. So basically, what I'm doing right now in this level is, um, essentially all I'm doing is, like, unlocking the next area of the ship. It doesn't have any truly practical... Like implication on the progress in the game. You guys just gotta press these buttons and um, it gets you farther in the level. For some reason mercenaries are just really flipping tough. But there is a weapon you get later in this level that a lot of people hate it. But when you use it against mercenaries, oh man, it tears them apart. If you get if you get the shot on them right, it, it works really well. Man, there's just a lot of them. This is some epic, epic fighting we got going here. And this is actually the uh, intrusion music of this, or the, uh, the upbeat music of this area. That might be the last switch. Maybe. We'll see. Get some health there. Probably could have waited until I was a little lower before I got that, but that's okay. Moving right along. Let's see, did that do it? Access denied. Can hear room prunes must be 
Okay. So I gotta go and figure out which one I didn't press yet. I think it's the one in the damage. First one I went into, actually. Oh. And here's another shield belt. And these are the super jump boots. And they don't... They're not that useful. Basically, they let you jump really high. I think if you... Use them over here. You might be able to get somewhere. I'm not sure. But basically, this elevator's working. But... It doesn't really help you. <laughs> Sorry about that. doesn't really help you. Or does it? I don't know. I can't tell if it will. Uh, you might be able to use that to get to up there without, um, you know, earlier than you should be able to, but that obviously takes some degree of jumping skill. Why doesn't that door open? Uh, I gotta walk all the way around. I'm gonna put, um, the upper half of this on, on, on another episode, because I'm gonna run out of hard drive space. You gotta love fraps for eating up, like, a gigabyte a minute. Alright, let's press that button. And, yep, yeah, see, figures go to this one. And, gotta walk all the way around. All the way around. That, um, diagram. You probably remember walking down towards the ship that you saw these things kind of sticking off there. They had the lights at the bottom of them. That's basically a diagram of the ship right there. Kind of cool. I'm gonna ignore that. Once you press those three buttons, this elevator rises, and you're in the second half of the ship. So I'm going to end the video here, and in the uh, next video we will finish the Terranux and figure out what we have to do next.